What is up, guys? Back here with the vlog. Feeling a little sick today, uh, but uh, we're here with Mr. Miss Seventeen and, uh, and Diego Cordova with the Diego. What's up? And my camera's about to die. Damn it! That's copyrighted. Damn it! It's copyrighted. But yeah. So uh, we are here taking the ghost tour. So that's pretty interesting. We're walking right now. So we're uh, we're waiting for a light. We're waiting for a light to start. Okay, so like the other girls here in Old Town, Abigail begged and begged until mom and dad got tired of hearing about it. They gave in. All right, all right. We'll let you on a date with Victor tonight, but we expect you to be home by a certain time tonight or else. Abigail did not come home. Let's cross over. So I'm not sure what we're doing later. But, uh, the concert issue was pretty fun. Okay, the story. Okay, now mom and dad are very concerned, they're very angry that Abigail didn't come home on time. And they're going to go to bed, but they're thinking, we're going to talk about this whole thing in the morning. Shouting match, some sort of physical punishment. And at Farmer's Market back then, they had a whipping post for people to misbehave, like stealing fruit from the farmers or time at the police authorities here at the courthouse. And like the pilgrims up in Massachusetts, they had a pillory and a stock. Occasionally, they had to hang a horse thief. All as we know is early the next morning, the farmer was on his way to market over there. The farmer passed by the nearby alleyway. He sees some lying in that alleyway. He's got a few minutes before the market opens. He steps in close to see what's lying there. He's going to find the body of a young woman. She had been strangled. Let's cross over. Could say that I'm uh, stringing you along here. Okay. Now, somebody close by alerts the police authorities there at the courthouse. Two officers rush to the alley. While they're there, the information, the young woman lying there is indeed Abigail. <coughs> they get further information, the last person she'd been seen alive with was this new guy in town named Victor. Victor. Two officers ride out, they don't okay, Victor, wherever he's around here. Maybe Victor started a job or something. They take him into custody, they bring him here to the courthouse, they throw him in a jail cell. Speedy trial is started after 12 jurors are selected. The trial is held and takes the jury to the funeral to find Victor guilty of murder. It's gonna happen to Victor. He dies. You're gonna be hanging. Back then, you're gonna be hung for being a horse. Now we're talking murder. The jury found Victor guilty of murder. He's been sentenced to hang here in Market Square in about three days' time. The local workmen they get their hammers and ropes and beams, and right over there in front of City Hall, where let's see, the kids are playing on that that speaker stand right there. The local workmen start hammering away, building a scaffold and a gallows, and then goes to the public hang. Victor's watching them from his jail cell the next couple days, but Victor's acting like, eh, nothing to worry about. It's another day. Victor remembers, good looking guy, but he's really cocky, arrogant, defiant. He thinks he's the greatest Mr. One and Only, Mr. Wonderful. My thing is, the guy was so good looking, just pure evil. Uh, let's just say he went on the dark side of the force, something like that, right? Oh my God. Meanwhile, word's going on around here. About three days' time, there's going to be a hanging here in Market Square. About three days later, punishment day arrived. The ass crowd had gathered here in Market Square. They're not only here for Farmer's Market, they're here for the extra special event, right? Now, Victor's let out of his jail cell over there. He's just from one of the deputies. They're going to come in a long circle, making their way through the vast crowd here, work their way around to the other side with a hanging over here. Victor is making comments all on the way. You can't hang me. There isn't a girl here that's going to be my friend. Stuff like that. He's up the steps over there in the far end where the hangman's waiting. Victor steps out of platform underneath the hangman. The hangman puts him up on Victor's back. He's ready to tighten that noose. He's going to pull a lever over there, drop to a trap door, <coughs> stretch that rope along with Victor's neck. For the last few minutes of his natural life, Victor's got three words to the crowd here. I'll be back. Lots of events, as okay. you can see, are held here in Market Square, even today. Night and day, rain or shine, from the years. Strangely enough, ever since Victor departed here way back in 1970, from time to time, one of the events here in Market Square, somebody will step forward, Every once in a while, I swear, this tall, extremely handsome young man appeared out of nowhere and stood beside them. Or, usually, women's faces. I saw a young man like that in the corner of my eye. He was so good looking, it was hard for me not to notice him. Well, I have to admit, I saw him like 
two or three seconds ago, right in front of me, but he vanished. How did he do that? How did he get away like that? Is he a ghost? All these eyewitnesses all did say that he's got strange marks on his neck. What can those marks possibly be? Oh, the rope. Rope burns. So the prophecy is true. He said he'd come back. Victor shows up here an awful lot. Maybe right now. Maybe tonight. Okay. That's why. While you're waiting for that bus, or even if you're going to be here for a little while, it's very important everybody here stay together. Act as a team. Okay. <laughs> Not a good idea for anybody to be by themselves. Not just young women, anybody. Okay? No, because that, somebody here drops in on some their own little, little private spot. You be sitting there, money. You open this ball, all of a sudden this tall, extremely handsome young man appears out of nowhere. It looks like you want to have two hours to sit down next night. Wherever you are, you have to look upstairs, make sure there's nothing odd. Because if there is, lucky you. Yes, you decided to show up here. This happens, try not to be upset. Try to calmly get and walk away. You can't get up and walk away, get up and run away. Or even better, you have been running away and hunting back. Real real fast by now, I think you know what Victor's capable of, right? Yes. Okay. However, we all have the power to defeat Victor. And it's really quite simple. It's annoying. Victor had three words back then, right? I have three words for you now. Don't hang around. <laughs> <laughs> now we've been on the north route of the Ghost of Great Bird Blizzard of Oldman. You've only heard a few of the amazing stories out there. There's never enough time in the world to hear all the stories there are, right? Remember, a lot of your classmates, they went on the south route. They heard stories, so that's the one about the ice ball over there, pink lemonade and Bloody Mary, right? Another story, such the one about Coleman Boa. There's all kinds of ways to add to your collection here. You either go on that south route, or you do some internet detective research to add to your Ghost Legends of Alexandria. There's even books you can read. Like, an author locally here named Michael Poe, he used to work for our boss. He wrote a book on the ghost lands of Alexander. All so, kinds of uh, that is the story of uh, Victor. Now, Hopefully we'll see before later. I can cut you. Yo, what's up, guys? Um, I'm here eating. Okay, that's Mr. Payne's hand. Pull the trigger. Okay. Anyways, um, so this is our trash food. That's what I'm eating later. <laughs> now nah, back up, Amherst. Back up, back up, back up, back up. He's back mine. Up. He's mine. Back up. He's mine. Back no, up. No, no. Back up. Back up. I will straight deck you in your face. Ooh, so deck me then. Come on. <laughs> deck you. Let me record this. Yeah. Yes. So it's pretty cool. We've got a lot of uh, fancy books in here and that stuff. So uh, yeah, I've got my. Uh, Blood bomb. Oh wait, did I make my tattoos? She needs to kill herself. And so do I. Okay, bye. So uh, that's the end of the vlog.
Um, see you in tomorrow's. Bye.